Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 56 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction. And the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number four, Montana, on the ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500 mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, and east of Ragbri the last week of July. And it's all to raise awareness that there are addiction recovery options available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries, and rescue missions all over the nation all over the world that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So I had to record this. I'm um, here at Small Town RV and Campground in Terry, Montana. And yesterday they handed me uh, a trash can. And they were like, we give all our guests trash cans. But they also gave me a doormat, like, you know, that would go in front of your door. This morning when I woke up, there's a newspaper on it. How cool is that? I've never had that at a campground before. Uh, so yeah, if you're riding the northern tier, it might be worth the 40 mile uh, detour onto I-94 just to come get a newspaper at your campsite in the morning. That's so cool. Um, so today I'm headed west. Uh, yesterday I wanted to make it to Miles City. I did not. Um, I spent too much time eating that entire pizza. <laughs> so... Uh, no, I was uploading everything. Good news is, last night I got everything uploaded. I'm back to the time of year now where by the time the sun starts getting up, it starts heating up the tent, and I've got to get <clears throat> got to get out and move anyway. So, yeah, I should be able to make it. It's like 38 miles to Mile City, uh, but then the next day there's no camping for 60. So I'm hoping I can knock today out early, get there, get the video done, get camp set up, all those kind of things, go to bed early and wake up early tomorrow for a mandatory 60 mile day. Um, hopefully all the weather and everything lines up. Feels amazing right now, like it feels really good. I'm in my kit, um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. You'll see more of that right about now. All right, so I just rolled in here into Four Corners Convenience. Uh, both of the two restaurants were closed down because I got out so early. Uh, and so I was just like, I need some kind of food. So I got in here and they had like cheese curds. And I asked if they had, you know, any type of uh, hot foods. And they said that they had some sandwiches I could warm up. So I got a burrito and I got some Rolos and I got a Zingers. Like with it being 30, you know, eight miles to Mile City, that's the only thing between here and there. And so there was a, a, a lady named Layton that was at the counter, and um, her mom was there. Her mom's name was Leanne. And so I was talking to Layton about um, redeeming Eden, about the cycle tour and those kind of things. I was like, you should go subscribe. And she, she was like, I will. So when I sat down to eat, she walked back over, and she brought her phone, and she was like, what's the name of the channel? And so I kind of showed her the shirt, and I was like, redeeming Eden. She typed it in. She hit subscribe. So I'm sitting there, and the lady that's working here at the counter now, after they left, her name's Sheila, and she walks over and brings a paper map of Montana, and she's like, old school. And I was like, yes, I love it. And so she started telling me about all the back roads, um, that there's different places I can avoid some hills on the interstates by taking back roads. We talked for a while, and her phone rang, and it was Leanne and Layton. And so... Uh, they were calling and asking if I was still there. So they put me on the phone and they said, Hey Adam, we're here at the house. We're watching your channel and we love it. Um, do you take donations? And so I was like, yeah, absolutely. She said, well, I'm going to send Leighton back up. So Leighton came with a guy named Markel and uh, they walked in and started talking to me for a little bit, handed me a hundred dollars from Four Corners convenience store. Thank y'all so much. That is so crazy. I was just saying in yesterday's video 
that I didn't have any cash. I've got like, you know, some funds left on the cards, uh, but I didn't have any cash money, like, you know, go to an ATM, pay a fee type cash. Uh, so that came at the perfect time. Uh, but also, Sheila, thank you so much for helping guide me down to Billings and uh, places beyond. So uh, one cool thing, I was looking at this board, Astor Tourism. I am so ready. I am now in the no light pollution part of the U.S. I'm so ready to stealth camp somewhere and hopefully get a cloudless night where I can see the stars like I saw them on Togety Pass in Wyoming. Um, might be my favorite thing about the West in totality is just seeing the Milky Way split the sky open from one you know, side of the uh, horizon to the other. So uh, anyway, I'm going to start pressing on down the road. I love this Four Corners uh, windmill here. It's just beautiful. But, uh, I'm going to press on down the road toward Miles City. There's a campground or a, a recreational area about eight miles before it. Might go there. Uh, that would put a big day tomorrow. And so I'm just going to have to do some research and figure it all out, but I think I'm going to be on the interstate mostly to Miles City before I have to make any decisions on uh, taking back roads. So I'm going to do all that and you're going to see that right about now. So that's the Powder River. Uh, I crossed the Powder River in Oregon. Um, I think coming out of Baker City. And so um, I don't know if that's the same one or not. If that's the same Powder River that comes out of Baker City, Oregon, will you like drop a comment and let me know? Because I think that's the coolest thing in the world. So anyway, uh, there's a car pulling over up here. I'm going to see what's going on. Uh, and yeah, I'll get to you guys back in just a minute. Love you guys. See you later. It's prairie dogs. I can hear them chirping from like all the way up here on the side of the road. They're a long way away. They are sounding the alarm that I'm up here. Like they are mad about it. They all went scurrying. Like I saw it out of the corner of my eye when I came over the hill. They just ran and stood at their little holes and were like, you know, looking all around. Uh, but really what I really like to do, I cannot wait for Liam to see something like this. Like when we come back through this area in South Dakota, I'm so excited for him to see this kind of stuff, like super excited.
All right, so Yellowstone River, giant hill. I'll zoom in on it so you can see it, but uh, the guy at the gas station this morning, I think his name was Bill, was telling me, uh, where are you headed? And I was like, Miles City, and he was like, oh, over the hill. And I thought for a minute, this guy can't know I'm about to be turning 40. There's no way that, like, he knows I'm almost over the hill. And then I started thinking about it, and I was like, if they call it over the hill, I bet it's a pretty big hill. So, yeah, now I can fully see what over the hill actually means. I could see from way back, like 15 miles ago, this hill and the sunlight like glinting off of the windshields on the cars as they got up to the top. And I can see it here too. So it looks like they're up on a ridge once they get up there. So it's probably gonna be quite a bit of a push uh, but I'm going to go ahead and knock it out, and then hopefully the other side of that hill is downhill. But I won't know that till I get there. So I'm going to get there, and you'll see that right about now. I'm on top of the world, ma. Maybe not quite, but there's a cell tower, which means I think I'm just about as high up as I'm gonna get. Uh, if you look over my shoulder this way, you can see what I climbed up on top of, way down in this valley. Just crazy. Uh, it was a good climb. It wasn't Mount Everest or anything. But one thing, the campground that I was going to go that was 32 miles in is at this exit. So it says valley access. And I imagine that would mean I would go all the way down and then eat a, uh, you know, freeze-dried meal and then eat a freeze-dried breakfast and come all the way back up. And I think I'm just going to save the energy and those two meals, which would be $20 for a place, and just keep on heading toward Miles City proper. Uh, and see what's there to stay or maybe what's just after there to stay. Uh, so I'll figure all that out, but I'm headed down. I've got to get some food. Uh, that was that took a lot of my energy. But uh, yeah, as I get out of here, I'll give you guys a panorama of what I'm looking at from up here on top of this ridge. So you'll see that and then you'll see more of what's to come right about now. Well, apparently, my friend, Sir Isaac Newton was right. What goes up must come down. Again, here's that cell tower. I could not see this from where I was. But look at that downhill run. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's go. I cannot tell you how weird it is to be getting off at an interstate exit on a bicycle to get food in a hotel room. This is so strange.
Ah, yes. Well, the shower is complete. Beard is dry. I have a whole pile of clothes and a newspaper <laughs> uh, to read through. I uh, got all kinds of work to do. I'm going to try to catch up on some things. Might talk to Christy. Um, she's at work tonight, but uh, I may be able to talk to her about some different things that are going on with Yellowstone, some things that we need to pack to make sure that everything's good with Liam. Uh, I think we're 11 days out from Yellowstone now, from them flying into Bozeman. So I got to do some family things and some getting together things and some resting things and some laundry things and order pizza things, got all kinds of things I need to do. And so that's what I'm going to work on. It was really cool when I ro rolled in here to the hotel. I was just trying to figure out what to do. There's a KOA way on the other side of town. And with having to leave early in the morning, I just was like, I don't know what I should do. Uh, and Christy had actually sent me with the last payment, like um, from Facebook, she had sent me $100 extra. And she said, I miscalculated, just keep it. Uh, I'm not hurting for money right now. I was like, really? She was like, yeah. So Christy, <laughs> my dub, you bought my hotel room for the night. So thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow morning, plan to get up, uh, get on the road early as I can. Probably 11. I, you know, it's just the way it works. Uh, but I do have quite a few miles. I looked at it again, and I think it's 44 to a campground in Forsyth. Uh, there are some hills that look like they're coming up, and I think I did almost 2,000 feet of climbing today. So definitely getting into the Rocky Mountains and the footprint of uh, those same mountains. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to keep this video long. Uh, it was really cool when I rolled in here to the hotel room. Uh, there's a guy named David at the counter, and he's been clean from meth for seven years. And so we got to chatting a little bit, and that was a really good conversation. I feel like the spirit definitely led me here. And, uh, yeah, excited to have got that shower. That was totally needed. I think it had been three nights. Um, so, no good. Uh, super thankful again for this morning for Leanne and Leighton uh, and Markel uh, bringing that donation. That was just, you know, I, I think about, so I'm, I'm living this by faith, and I just think about, you know, well, I'm going to be on the interstate all day. I'm not going to see anybody. I know, granted, that has actually happened now <laughs> uh, with Richard and Julie Moore. Uh, but you know, in my normal brain, my human atom brain, I'm thinking, I'm just not going to see anybody today. How is this going to work? How am I going to, how am I going to keep moving? Um, and things like that happen, you know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So I'm thankful, but yeah, I'm going to close it out so I can get this stuff done. I doubt I'll be able to work on the video tonight. I'll probably work on it tomorrow morning. I don't really know how that's going to work. Uh, but either way, you guys will see it when you see it because you're seeing it right now. So, uh, you know, when it came out. But if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the Papa link in the description and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew, every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it, I do too, and who knows, it might save a life. Don't forget Redeeming Eden as a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Papa link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here in Miles City, Montana. This is one of the bigger cities I've been in in Montana so far. Um, headed into Billings, Forsyth tomorrow, hopefully. Um... Yeah, Miles City, Montana. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.